Hi, how's it going, Charles Putinson? So today we're going to be talking about. Sorry, girls. We're going to be talking about about the guys. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have 12 traits of a modern woman, but. Maybe that's 12 traits of a, what a guy is looking for in a girl, huh? Maybe that's interesting. Feminine, you know, things like that. But today we're going to be talking about the modern man. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of external reasons why men are not what they were. My favorite era is the 50s. I love the 50s. I love the men that were in the 50s, the music, who they were, what they embodied, what they're about. Just, they were just masculinity. They just, they just exuded this confidence that is lacking in a lot of the men. And I'm not saying that in all of the men. And um, for me, I had to actually learn this. I had to apply this. I had to become this. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't this guy in high school. I wasn't this guy in college. I was needy. I was validation seeking. I wanted people's approval. That's who I was. And I didn't. I my friends were all right. You know, with that, uh, I didn't get many girls. I had girlfriends. You know, and it wasn't like Charles. Me was. I was a guy that people wanted to be around because I made them laugh. So I was the entertainer. I was the clown kind of guy. I was the guy that did stupid things and oh Charles is the guy that's gonna jump off the roof and da, da, da. and I was the guy that was if I do this they're gonna laugh if I do this they will like me but that's not what a man is a man is on his purpose highly recommend the book obviously everyone's probably heard of it David Data the way of the superior man and it means that you need to be on a purpose you have a vision of what you want to do and you bring a following you bring people with you think about it there's a book by Zan Perion, Perion or something like that, and he talks about it. We were hunter-gatherers. We fought to protect our tribe. We went out and we gathered food by ourselves for our tribe, for our family, for our kids, for our spouse. And now we, I don't want to blame anything on social media and you know all the internet and everything else, but we lost our way. So number one is we're solution-oriented. We solve problems. That's what we do. That's why we love putting things together. We love creating things because we need, someone's going to come to you with a problem as a boss, as a manager, as a father, as a, as a guy in a relationship. And you have to be solution oriented because you have to say, okay, I see the problem how it is. I don't see it worse than it is. I see it how it is. Let's find a solution. I've ingrained that two years ago, two years ago in my mind and now it's embodied. I see a problem. Let's fix it. This isn't good in a relationship because a lot of girls, they don't want to be fixed. They just want to be understood. There's a difference, solution oriented. This isn't always within a relationship. This is within life. So as a boss, as a manager, as a leader, as a visionary, whatever the case is, you have to be solution oriented because that's what it is. Problems arrive, they look to you. So number two is take action. You have to take action. This was the biggest thing that I've, I've, I've been lacking, taking action. Learn and then you take it. Take the action, you apply it in your life. You learn about marketing, getting better with your body, your health, your mind, your money, your relationships, your social circle. You have to apply it. You have to take action. Men that don't take action are boys. They're followers. They're not you and I. You have to take action. Number three, they're independent. Independent not in the fact that they don't need anything. They're able to ask for help, but they're independent in the fact that they are not sitting there and they say, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? They're independent in the fact that they say, okay, if someone's not there to teach me what to do, I'm going to learn it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to find out. I'm self-taught. I self-taught. This is one of the biggest things is that I might be too independent where I, I, I never like asking for help. I never like asking if someone wants to get involved or to do something, to delegate. That, that might be one of my flaws, is that I'm too independent. Number four, and obviously this, number one is there's, there's no particular list or, or order. And number, th this is just from, and number two about this list, is this is my thinking, okay? This, th this is things that I needed to work on, all right? This isn't just like a global thing, because someone could take massive action, but they're not solution oriented. They just, they just cause a lot of problems, or they, they think a lot about problems. So this is just a, a list that, take one or two things, or one thing or none. <laughs> I hope you take more than, than one thing. Continuous expansion. This is huge. If you're not growing, you're dying. There's two books out there, The Compound Effect by, the Compound Effect by Darren Hardy and The Slight Edge by Mike Ol or Jeff Olson. Both of them talk about it. You're just getting a little bit better. And Tony Robbins says, if you're not growing, you're dying. There is nothing this. There's no, there's no even keel. 
You're growing or you're dying. That's it. Your body's getting better or it's getting worse. You're either getting smarter or you're getting, you're getting dumber. You're, it's known as atrophying. Your, your muscles are atrophying, your brain is atrophying. In other words, it's losing its neuroplasticity if you want to really get technical. And then there's something called myelin. Myelin is this stuff that's around your brain. And the more that you can connect your myelin in taking action, being independent, being solution oriented, Ah, you're expanding. So expand in every area of your life. There's, a, there's an and mindset, don't have an or mindset. I can be smart and have a great relationship and have money and be an influencer and produce content and run a business and have a great body, all right? And be a great father. Number five, strong identity. So a strong identity is just what you like and what you don't like. If you don't like rock music, then you don't like rock music. It's not a big deal. Like myself, I'm not really a country fan. I like some hip hop, I like some rock, and I like EDM. So whatever you like and what you don't like, say you don't like a certain color or going to a certain place or doing a certain thing or a concert or have who you are. You, yeah, this is the biggest thing is a lot of these actually revolve around this fifth thing, which is you need to have an identity. The woman, and your followers, and the followers, I should say, the, the people that work for you, or your children, or anyone else. Because the last thing, or actually the 11th thing, is gonna be talking about this, which is a leader. But you have to have an identity, or else people will be like, I don't know who he is today. I don't know who's gonna come out. You know, like, who's gonna come out? The nice guy, the mean guy. Who's gonna come out? The guy that goes to the gym, or the guy that doesn't go to the gym? The, the guy that eats right, or doesn't eat right? The one that makes sales calls, or doesn't make sales calls? You need to have an identity of what you like, what you don't like, what's your passions, what's your, what your, what, people need to know who you are. This was the biggest thing for me, this was my biggest problem, is I was being who people wanted me to be. I was being who, who, if I was talking to someone, I molded into them. I'm not saying to be just a bad communicator, but have an identity of what you like and don't like. Have you been to that place? Did you like it? Eh, it was all right, it wasn't. And if they're enthusiastic, you're allowed to disagree. This is the thing with me is I didn't like conflict because I didn't have a strong identity. So I literally would just mold into who they wanted me to be and that's who I, I was a chameleon. That's not a man. 